how goes it YouTube is Minecraft to go here and I'm bringing you a video which I haven't really done in like five months so today I'll be teaching you how to create a uh, Minecraft 1.4.2 craft bug server and this will work for pretty much any update in 1.4 so it's 1.4.x and if you have a question please check the FAQs in the description by clicking the show more button under this video and it should be at near the bottom so if you have a problem check that first and that if that doesn't solve it then ask a comment so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create a folder on our desktop so we're going to right click you're going to do new folder and call it whatever you want so i'll call it tutorial server i guess if that works for you and then we're going to open up any internet browser of your choice but i'll be using google chrome and then we're going to go to dl.bucket.org which is the first link in the description too all right and now if right here if it says um version 1.4.x or the dash whatever download that but we we'll, for the time i'm recording this tutorial there is no recommended build so we're going to click alternate versions below that and we're going to look for a bleeding edge build or a development build or beta build so we're just going to whatever just download the latest one here that's successful click that and uh should be downloading we're going to click keep and it's download um, 11.5 megabyte file that may change it's nothing much it honestly takes like a millionth of my space on my computer so yeah then we're gonna close out of this okay and now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that into the tutorial and to whatever folder you created okay now I'm gonna right click I'm gonna rename this to craft bucket C R A F T B U K K I T now we're actually gonna open up you can open up notepad or no or notepad plus plus does not matter just anything and now we're gonna make a new file okay and we're, now in the description this code should be right here you're just gonna copy this and paste it just like this okay now we're gonna save this and this in the description and you want to use a 64-bit version code if you have 64-bit and you want to use a 32-bit um, if you have 32-bit so now you're going to save it oh desktop whoops just save it to wherever it was. I named my tutorial server, I believe. Okay. And now, um, we're just going to name it start or Minecraft run. So it does not matter what you call it. Just make sure it ends in dot bat. And for the file type, um, if you just set it to all types, if you're on notepad, just, you, yeah. Okay. So now it's a dot bat file. Just make sure the ending's dot bat. Now you're actually, uh, going to click start dot bat. And, uh, what is it going to do is it's going to generate all the files you need here um, kind of slowly uh, so yeah it was gonna generate all the files it's gonna be like your properties it's gonna be your world folder it's actually gonna generate the world for you a layout and all that stuff if it loads it's been really slow today so yeah now so you can see it's starting to download items I don't know why it's really slow so I'll crack my knuckles okay so now it's preparing to spawn in if you ever want to stop your server um, you can type help for all the commands you can do in the CMD, which is what this window is called. Or you can just type stop like this. And as soon as it goes through all this code, it will run the stop command. So right, so now it just stopped. It's closing listening threads, whatever that may be. So basically just making sure everything's saving okay. It will be kicking all players if they're on it. Saving chunks for the nether, the end, and done. Okay. So now we have all these uh, stuff here. Plugins folder is where you're going to put all your dot jars and maybe folders if your plugin downloads that. That's where you're going to put it all. Uh, band IPs. This is where you enter players' band IPs. Or if you do slash band um, IP in the command or whatever or in chat, that's where it'll be stored. Same with band players. Bucket.yml. You do not really need to worry about. Help.yml. All right. Now ops. This is, uh, you want to put your name here. So, my Minecraft in game name is Minecraft to go like that and save it. Just do this for your name. Um, this makes you op on your server. You can do all the commands. And if you want to do it in game, you can do slash op and then name like that. But don't do it there because that's bad. Alright, permissions.yml. Do you do not need to worry about that either? And whitelist, uh, that's the only other thing. We'll get to that in a minute. Now we're going to edit the server.properties okay so generator settings you can just pretty much um, I'll put a Wikipedia page to what all this means in the descriptions well, I'll just or what most of the other stuff means I'll go over uh, more things 
Uh, server port, you generally want to keep that 25565. Server IP, you can leave that blank, or if, if you can open up CMD, like that, and you just type in IP config, um, and if you look for your IPv4 address, like, or, that's not it, this IPv4 address under wireless LAN adapter to wireless network connections, you can enter that there, actually. Um, but you don't have to, so if you can't find that, don't worry, because you don't need it at all. Uh, really. And whitelist, if you want to make it only where certain people can join, set this to true. If you want to make it public, set that to false. Spawn animals, self-explanatory. Um, hardcore, you can make it like a hardcore server. Uh, texture pack, yeah. Online mode, all right. Now, if you want people that do not have a bot, uh, if you want people to go on your server that have not bought Minecraft, set this to false. But if you want to make it where they actually have to, um, they bought Minecraft, make that to true. Uh, and that's for, and you'll generally make it true for security security reasons, but yeah. PvP, uh, true or false if you want players to fight each other. Difficulty, I believe this goes from 0 to 1 to 2 and 3. I don't know, I just keep it 1. Game mode, okay, so oops, 0 is survival, 1 is creative, and 2 is adventure. I generally set mine to a 1 if I wanted to, or 0. It depends on what kind of server you're running. Max players, maximum number of players that can join your server. Spawn monsters, true or false. Generate structures, this is going to be like dungeons, um, NPC villages, and stuff like that. You can make it true or false. View distance, this is the amount of chunks someone can view. Uh, so if someone has Optifine on your server, they can view more than 10 chunks, and that can cause your server some lag. So if they make this like 100, and they're viewing 100 chunks, that's going to make it lag really bad for everybody else. So generally, I keep it like 8, 9, or 10. And MOTD, this is where if you save the server, it's going to be MOTD. So Ermagerd. Uh, wow. Ermagerd, this is a turt. Er, you. Yes, Ermagerd is a turt. Er, yeah. Uh, so now if we click start that bad again, hopefully there will be no errors. Um, you know, this you, uh, bot bucket auto updater, you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, everything's loaded. And if I go on my Minscraft here, uh, let it load up real quick. Since I'm recording, the computer's a bit laggy, we can log in. Um, yeah, and then if we go to multiplayer, here's my local host, and oh my god, this is a tutorial. So there you go, that's the, um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, covers this for how to make a server. Again, if you have any questions, please check the facts first in the description at the very bottom, and then ask in the comments, and I'll try to answer it. So, thanks for watching, YouTube, have fun, good luck, bye-bye.